Hello everybody, Average Gamer, welcome back to another episode of Looks Like Korea is Declaring War on Someone that I Might Go Help Them With. They've declared war on Myanmar. Oh, interesting. Do I want to get involved here? I don't know. I mean, if I get involved, it wouldn't be too hard for me to help. Actually, then again, my MR did. Oh, they're white. White, you like me? How does my MR like me? They declared war on me. Oh, I got them to like me so they would peace out. Am I still supporting their government? Yeah, let's not. Do we want to go and fight with the Koreans to help capture Myanmar? You know what? Kind of do. Is that all my generic infantry? Okay. So theoretically, I have a plan. I need to get rid of these units. But at the same time, I don't want to just sell them. Because I'm not going to be able to get a good dollar value out of these guys. So I'm going to help them, or send them to help fight help Korea invade my own. Once they're there, they're probably all going to get killed. Bye. That'll give me a chance to officially get my artillery, my armor, and all of that stuff ready to go to actually help with an all-out invasion and all that jazz. Because I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna help, but in a limited, limited capacity. And you're not gonna help sea transport to there. There you go. So what we're going to do... We're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 20, 17. Because I do want these guys to get a little seasoned, just in case. The hope is that I can get these units to, you know, get some experience. And most of our artillery, I don't think, has experience. I wouldn't mind deploying units that don't have the experience as well. Because they can get, uh... Might as well send a bunch of armor as well. Okay, I already know this is more than enough to, to beat... Myanmar. Like this here alone should be enough. 
I'm let's say 99.9% .9 sure of it. And actually, the more I think about it, these guys are not even going to be able to get into the fight, I don't think. We'll see. So research. Wow, the game is getting so choppy and slow. It's funny, right? Like, this is not a bottleneck with my computer or anything like that. It's just the game. It is... I mean, it's an old game, right? So, I mean, what do you expect? It's not even... It's not a six, even 64-bit, so... Okay... No helicopter there, but whatever. What does this give me? Well, improved radars gives us uh, better spotting. We get the RH-01 noob. Theoretically, we also need to get... Uh, Aircraft and improve radars and stuff like that. So we actually do get something from this research, which is good. Once we get some of the other stuff. Environmental recognition, we get better cultural rating, better environment rating. Cool. No, no units or anything like that. I don't think we get the helicopter just yet. Nope. Okay. Actually, how is our Navy going here with construction? Yeah, carriers are, like, pretty far out there. The destroyers are going... leave a permanent amount of troops down here because I know they're going to be going this way. Is that everybody? That's everybody. No, nope. almost. Oh, come on, game. Um, just for clarification, I have rail transport turned on, right? I'm trying to remember what... Doesn't matter, there's no rail over here anyways. Uh, yeah, we're gonna highlight here and say, hey, move to, um, crap, okay. Move to there. I don't think these units are even gonna get there in time. Game volume down a little bit here. And you might have got a black screen there for a split second. Only because I was switching it the uh, the capture process. I think this is the reason why the game's being all chuggy. Oh my gosh. Koreans are just pushing in. Oh, wow. So, my bar has, like, it looks like they have a large military... F okay, that was... F wow, okay. Um, you know what? Just come back here. I'm gonna leave these units in Korea. Well, what is now Korea? Labor storage, really? Even after I closed all those, uh, all those, all, all that stuff. Really? Okay. Um. Hey, Ghana is starting to like me a little bit more. Nice. Oh, that game is getting, uh, yeah, this is definitely the, wow. Come on. Okay, let's pause. Holy crap. Uh, we're gonna do non-aggression, uh, mutual defense, missile defense, full transit, 
Control Labor Force, Atlanta Psy, and Carmel Extradition. Nope, you still won't do it, huh? So if we do criminal extradition, free trade, free for labor force, nope, still won't do it. We're still gonna let you like me a little bit more. Okay. Oh yeah, she got chugging. Do I have to zoom all the way out for it to like actually speed up? Yeah. This has always been a problem with the game, where it's just, over time, it does become harder and harder and harder to, to play, unfortunately. I mean, this also could be a problem. <laughs> just look at the sheer amount of units on the map over here. It is ridiculous. Kind of want to put a bunch of units in every country that I'm friends with. Oh, did the uh, the Wildcats deploy? They did. Uh, go into reserve. I must have had auto deploy. That's no big deal. It's like there, there's nothing I can do with that. So. I mean, I can theoretically get rid of my line of sight treaties with everybody. That will kind of make things a little bit better, but I always refrain from doing line of sight treaties. Um, cancel line of sight. Can I do it? There we go. Cancel. Wait, am I doing this wrong? I might be doing this wrong, but whatever. Did you just declare war on... Now, I don't know if I need a line of sight treaty with them to help them fight wars. We'll see. I'm really hoping this makes things a little bit easier for me. I'm going to help them fight India. Yeah, you guys are never going to get there in time. So do me a favor and just go scrap.
What I'll do is I'll help them push to about here. Wow. They also wore Bangladesh, or is it just... No. Okay. Okay. I need to pause here. Um, I need to save it. Because I don't know why this, why this is acting, so let's hold on. Let's go to Task Manager real quick. Yeah, GP was at 7%, memory is at 42%. There, uh, there's something else going on. Anyways, so we're going to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>